Chris. Chris. Chris, get up. Chris, get up. Get your yeah. ass up. Get packed, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on Chris. Get up. Fuck your ass up! Hold your bag! There's only one way to do it. No. There's only one way to do it. Put your arm around. There's only one way. No, Chris. Come on! Nope. Come on. Nope. Come on. Nope. Come on. Chris! Come on. God! Fuck him! We don't have time for this shit! Fuck! I got you, man. I got you. Let's go. Shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Catherine? Oh. I didn't know IBM made pillows. God, I'm a mess. Look, there's breakfast on the stove, and you're not turning it down. I finished it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just hope she likes it. So love it. Now get dressed. Michael's late again. He would have been here already. He's not coming. We better get going. You need another break? No. Let's just get into the city and find a place to sleep. How much money you have? 40. I have 15. That should be enough for a room. Plus, we can still do some fundraising, you know? You gonna be up for that? Looks like I'll have to be. Set up shop over here? Yep. Meet you over there in a few hours. Stay out of trouble. Have fun, Maestro. Too tense. Look, come here, come here, come here. Just let it flow through you. It's just that easy. Nice and easy. He's doing well at the moment. Meaning? I think you should enjoy the time you have together now. 
Uh, what about alternative treatments? I wouldn't recommend it. She can still come home today, though? Absolutely. How much does she know? I haven't told her anything. Let's just keep it that way. I'll make a deal with you, Mr. Tools. If I take your bandage off, and you say I'm not sick anymore, and I say you're not sick anymore, then we'll both go home. Deal? I'm trusting you. Munchkin, we missed you. We missed you too. Where's Dad? Oh, he had to work, honey. But he loves you and he misses you and he'll see you soon. Can we go to the park today? Of course. But first... Is it a fantasy? Oh, I don't know. Knights, dragons, maybe a wizard or two? <laughs> You're the Chris! Give me two minutes. Didn't I warn you about this garbage? Hey, what am I supposed to do, huh? Shit, I couldn't play a kazoo if my life depended on it. You at least have a talent. You have talent. Oh, yeah, what's that? Recycling. Hey, fuck you. So what's going on with Michael? He just always has to work. Is he still going AA? The second he stops, he stops seeing Elizabeth. How much you have? 47, not bad for a handicap. You think he'd ever hurt her? No. No, he would never lay a finger on her. What's wrong? I don't know yet. There. Well, you said the same thing about you. Michael's... He's complicated. Hey. What's your name? Elizabeth. My name's Rook. I'm here to help you. But you gotta trust me, okay? What I'm gonna do is gonna hurt a lot. For just a second. But you'll be all better after, okay? There's too many people here, man. But at the end of the day, I know for a fact that he would never, ever touch Elizabeth. <gasps> Get the hell away from my daughter! Get away from her! Get the hell away from my daughter! Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. What in the hell are you doing? You know what? Let's just call the police. Listen, this is just a big misunderstanding. Hey, she fell, and I was just trying to help her, that's all. How did you do that? He fixed my arm, he fixed it! We just wanted to make sure she was okay. She's obviously fine now, so we're gonna go. Come on. How did this happen? Listen, I didn't mean any harm, okay? Okay? Elizabeth, it was a pleasure meeting you. You are Elizabeth. I think you give me too much credit, kid. <laughs> he fixed me. It's like in your stories. I'm sorry. <sighs> Tell me exactly what happened. I fell off the jungle gym. Let's just go home. Something else wrong with that girl, man. Huh? <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Easy there, kiddo. You don't want to make yourself sick. I won't. The wizard fixed it. Look, Munchkin, I know that you're feeling a lot better, but try not to wear yourself out, okay? Just slow down. You don't believe me, do you? Honey, you fell, and you're really lucky that you didn't get hurt. Now, as far as the man in the park having Rook. any... Right, as far as Rook having anything to do with that, I think your imagination may be running away with you. How could you write all those stories about wizards and magic and not believe in them? Honey, I write those stories because you enjoy them. But those characters live in a different world than you and I, that's all. Maybe excuse, I want to go finish the story. Take your medication first. I don't need it anymore. Don't argue with me, young lady. Take your medicine. Michael. Hey, yeah. Thought I'd drop by and say hello. Daddy! Oh, hey, baby. How are you feeling? Great. A wizard fixed it. What, you mean a doctor? No, a wizard. At the park. Uh, Elizabeth, can you run to your room for a few minutes? I need to talk to your daddy. I'll be right in. You go open this, and then we'll read one of your mom's stories, okay? What was that about? Mm, nothing. Elizabeth fell at the park today. What? It's okay. When we saw her on the ground, some guy had her by the arm. Somehow he tricked her into thinking that he healed her. It was weird. Tell me about this guy. Not much to tell. It was just some guy with a guitar. I'm sure he had good intentions. His friend was a little shady, but... When was this? This afternoon. It's nothing for you to worry about. I'll look into it. I'll see if PD or anyone from work no, can find anything. You don't out. have to do that, Michael. Maybe. But better safe than sorry. I talked to the doctors. Westfield told me everything. I've been thinking a lot about this. And it's great that Mary helped you out. You split the rent. That's... But I think it would be better for Elizabeth at this point if we were a family again. The house is too big for just me, and I miss you. I want you both Come home. Michael, we are not having this discussion right now. I still love you. Michael, no. Okay. But we will have this conversation. And whether you want to believe it or not, I want what's best for my daughter, too. Could you let this happen?
You're going to start answering questions right now. What can I help you with? What did you say to Elizabeth yesterday? Nothing. What kind of game do you think you're trying to play? Taking advantage of a six-year-old girl with leukemia? Leukemia? Yes, leukemia. Well, I didn't know that. Of course you didn't know that. Look, whatever you were trying to do yesterday, I'm sure you had good intentions behind it. I will give you the benefit of the doubt. But my daughter thinks her cancer is gone now, and that is a dangerous assumption for her to have. Well, I didn't know she was sick. What? Look, I was just trying to fix her arm when she fell. That is it. Okay, I, I didn't know there was something else. You saying you actually did heal her? I wish I could. Hell of a lunch crowd today. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta love the lunch crowd, though. The bad news is they're rude and impatient. But on the other hand, they don't tip worth shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what are you working on? Just a poem I had dancing around in my head. Can I read it? No, it's not finished yet. If you and Elizabeth need vacation time, just say the word. I mean, you've got at least a week's worth of paid vacation stored up. Bernadette. <laughs> just don't tell Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know, it's none of my business, but I learned a long time ago, nothing's written in stone. Things can change, but you have got to keep the faith. She's still swearing that he fixed her arm. Do you think it was dislocated or something? Maybe he just popped it back in. I don't think so. Does it still hurt her now? She seems fine. Well, we could take her back to Dr. Westfield. Just have to take another blood test. Maybe taking her to Westfield isn't such a bad idea. Maybe the blood test could show some good news. Mom. What's wrong? Oh my God, Elizabeth. She's really weak and she's lost all her color. Bring her down here. Paul Westfield is her doctor. Please page him. She has leukemia. What? <laughs> Where? What should I do? The park! Try the park! Looking good, my man. Looking real good. How much? Between the two of us, more than 100. Told you small towns are more charitable. I'm taking 50. The rest is yours. What are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about, Chris, is from here on in, you're on your own. The fuck are you doing? We're partners. No, we're not partners. It's over. 
This is because of one little slip up? You Come know on, what? man. You're out of excuses, Chris. It was one time. One time, Alex. I swear to God it won't happen again. Listen to me, buddy. I'm catching the train by myself. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. So you're better than me now? <laughs> no, I'm not. But at least I'm trying. She needs you. Elizabeth's dying. Can I help you? Where's Elizabeth? The little girl just brought in. She's not in any condition to be seen right now, sir. Hey! Sir! It's okay. He's her uncle. Look, I will do what I can, but I make no guarantees. Do you understand that? Okay, please. A page document. What is he doing? Oh, we're just visiting. Only family members are allowed to be with the patient. Just give us five minutes. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. But... I know what he needs. He, he just needs some rest. If you want to be useful, go get some orange juice. Doc, OJ! Is he okay? Yeah, he'll be fine, but we gotta get him out of here. Where can we take him? I don't know. It... Well, what about your place? Uh, I don't think that. Hey, look. He just saved her life. If she gets sick again, you're gonna want us around. We're not gonna hurt you. All right, it's time for us to check out this place, buddy. I told you he was a wizard. <laughs> uh, let's take him to my room. I'll sleep on the couch. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. He just needs a couple of hours. Okay. I'm gonna uh, brew some coffee. And there's a bathroom down the hallway if you'd like to take a shower. I'll be right out. Do you think it was a good idea to bring her home? The doctor said she should spend the night. She thinks he's a wizard. But she's a little girl. She is. And if this is what makes her feel better, then he's a wizard. What about them? Let's just stay on our guard. Do you want to call Michael? No. Hey, you look tired. Why don't you sleep in my bed tonight? I'll take the couch. If anyone needs a good night's sleep, you do. I'll be fine. Go to bed. Good night. Good night. What happened tonight? 
You were there? You know as much as I do. No. You know something. Is she cured? Alex doesn't have much experience with disease. What do you mean? The last one didn't go too well. But this is different. I I'm just saying there's no easy answer. Uh, I'll fix you up a place to sleep. I'm just gonna head to the motel. Uh, you know, it's the least I can do. I have no... No, I'm a loud snorer, I'll be honest. And you'll wish I was at the motel. Uh, give me a favor, tell Alex I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, of course. Why didn't you go to the funeral, son? I just... I couldn't face it. Face what? Loss? Guilt? Me? I wanted you to be proud of me. How I've changed. I would have given anything for you to live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've got a good heart, son. You bought her time. But you've got to realize, it comes at a price. Price? Death always does. Still beating. <laughs> you want some coffee? Yes, please. Black. Here you go. <sighs> mm. So how is she? She's good. She's still sleeping. You know, you don't have to. You still look tired, and plus, you could probably use some food. I actually already made you a plate. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ta-da! Thank you. Oh, your friend said he'd meet you back here. We'll go for a walk. I, I need some fresh air. Yeah, sure. That'd be nice. So where'd you learn to play the guitar? My father taught me. The only thing I ever wanted to do from the time I could crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your father now? He passed away five years ago, actually. He was buried in L.A. And that's why we're headed over there. I'm so sorry. No, it's OK. It's all right. It was lung cancer. I tried to save him, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. He suffered, Catherine, terribly. And the only thing I could ever do for him is just prolong it. And I just want you to know that. I just appreciate you trying. How do you do it? 
I don't know. Michael? Oh, good morning, Mary. Where's Catherine? I don't know. I just woke up. Hmm. Elizabeth still sleeping? I guess so. So you wouldn't know the guy that just walked to the store with Catherine then? <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. I just woke up. You know, Mary, when I was on the force back, uh, well, back before the accident, I could always tell when someone was lying to me. I was really good at getting them to tell me the truth. Just didn't get any better than Tom and Jerry growing <laughs> up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember uh, <laughs> once when I was a kid, my cat brought a dead mouse up on the porch, <gasps> and I thought it was Jerry, and I, I cried all day. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> so, why does Elizabeth call me the wizard? Oh, uh, because I write stories for her, and she loves the ones about the wizards. Hmm. <laughs> so you're a writer? Actually, I'm a waitress. But I'd like to be a writer. <laughs> You'll get there. How do you know that? I know things. I'm a wizard, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've loved it for as long as I can remember. Yeah. It's my outlet. It makes me feel unique. You are unique. Are you threatening me? What? No, I'm not threatening you. I'm just a concerned father. OK. They're the guys from the park. I told Catherine I didn't want them anywhere near Elizabeth. Right. Well, you'll have to talk to Catherine about that. No, I want to talk to you. What's his name? Brooke, I don't know the other guy's name, OK? Elizabeth thinks he's some kind of wizard. It makes her happy. I don't know. Please. Is Catherine screwing No! No! Those two guys are not to come around any of you again. Tell her that. Hey. Any decisions about my daughter go through me. You are not her mother! You are always telling Catherine to leave me. Don't think for a second that I forgot that! Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Go away. Elizabeth, you will never have anything to fear from me. I promise you. Why'd you do that? Do what? Hurt Mary. Well, I didn't hurt her. I would never hurt anybody that you care about. She'll be fine. Listen, I am so sorry that you had to see that. Sometimes love makes people do things, right? Now, I love you. I want to protect you. Mary, Mary just doesn't see that. And your mom, she loves you, but she doesn't see what I see, and I see your two new friends putting you in danger, and I cannot allow that. I'll never allow that. You're a bad person. I love you. Elizabeth. You too. So, why Rook? Well, we can't all be kings. I like that. No, my uh, my dad gave it to me. He used to call me a rookie in life, and Rook for short, and it just stuck. But what about Alex? Is Alex is dead. <clears throat> 
Ooh. Are you okay? Something's wrong. I am so sorry, Mary. He wanted to know about you. What did he want to know? Uh, who you are, if you and Catherine were... Michael's Elizabeth's father. He's an asshole. That too. We can call the police if you want. <gasps> yeah, right. Call the police on a cop? It's a great idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's PD? He used to be. Until he got shot. He needed hip surgery, so now he's a private investigator. I better check on Elizabeth. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. No, don't touch me. I'm just trying to help. I'm not going to hurt you. No, thank you. Just let it happen the old-fashioned way. Um, can you tell them that I'll be back later? I just, I just need some air. Alive again. Hey, James. How you doing? Where's the squad car? You want suspension? Been undercover for the last two months, wise ass. How you doing? Well, how's the hip? I'm not gonna be running marathons anytime soon. How about you? How are the kids? <laughs> Great. My oldest son loves musical theater. My life's a cabaret. Really? Oh, I'll have to check out a play. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I need a favor. I'm running surveillance on a guy, and I'm trying to get some more information on him. You run through the database for me, see what matches you get? You give it a shot. Yeah. It's an African-American male, approximately 6'4", 200 pounds. Answers to the name Rook. I'm not sure if that's legit or if it's an alias. Can you just run it? Let me know what matches you get. All right. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Got that play, huh? Yeah, you do that. Why is that? You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. It's just day camp. Okay, we'll just call if you need anything. I will. Hey, can we order pizza tonight? <laughs> I'll think about it. What do you want on your pizza? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to come to dinner tonight, Elizabeth. You're more than welcome to join us if you want. You don't want to miss pizza. I do love any kind of pizza. Yeah, me too. Just no anchovies. Oh, yuck. <laughs> well... I suppose you got a deal. All right, you better go. Bye, Mom. Bye, Rook. I'll show you guys the fort later. OK, bye, sweetie. Have fun. You know, you don't have to come to dinner tonight if you don't want to. Well, it's just that I got to catch the train later, you know? And I need to make some money. Oh, well, I mean, no, no. it's the least I can do. No, it's OK. Thank you. You headed to the other side of the park? Yeah. You know, it wouldn't hurt to leave town on a full stomach. I know Elizabeth would like to see you one more time. <laughs> I'd love to come to dinner. <laughs> Great. You can bring Chris, too, if you want. Yeah, if I can find him. All right, around six? Sounds good. Okay, great. I'll see you then. I'll be there. Assholes. Sorry, but you're not fooling anybody. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk to me, I'll just call the police. You can talk to them about panhandling and fraud. 
What do you want? Is that so hard? I said, what do you want? Just some information. I'm a freelance reporter. There's a story I'm working on I'm hoping to sell to the local papers. The focus of it, guys like you, drifters. Where you come from, what your backgrounds are, how you live your lives. Fuck off. Come on, don't be like that. 100 bucks. And a free meal. I get to pick the place? Sure. There's no fast food, though, all right? It gives me gas. Sounds like we got a dinner date. So by this point, we're soaking fucking wet. We've been in the rain for two, three hours. Looking for a place to sleep for the night. Come across this uh, scrapyard and find this old semi. Okay. Climb in the back, fall asleep. I mean, hell, it's better than sleeping in the rain, right? Yeah. Next thing you know, this son of a bitch takes off about 90 miles an hour to Detroit, nonstop. Who's, uh, who's we? Uh, me and my partner. Partner? What is that, like a life partner we're talking about? No. No, man, it ain't like that. We just look out for each other. Me and Alex had it for years. Alex. Uh, Alex, the, uh, the guitar player, right? Did I already tell you about that? Yeah. Well, you don't remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I didn't even know he played till we got out of jail. Jail? Yeah, that's where I met him. We did some time a couple years ago, nothing big, but that guy, he'd take on two, three, four guys at a time and win. Those were the days, we had some good times. I bet you did. He should have died that night, but he didn't. He didn't. changed. Where's Mary? Mm, she got held up, but she's on her way. We'll save her some slices. If you don't mind, I'd like to try another session before I go. Of course. Wine. I feel fine. I know, I just want to make sure. <laughs> okay, fine with me. But how are you going to do it? Magic. <laughs> Hey, what am I supposed to do with them? Throw them out with the garbage. You feel okay? I feel fine. You? Yeah, yeah. I'm not any worse off. Good. I told you he fixed me. Guess you were right. <laughs> Guess she's okay. Is that a guitar? Yes, it is. Can you play? Rook plays beautifully. For you, any. Check this out. Oh, thank you. All right.
Yellow. James, it's Michael. Listen. I got their names. Christian Bates. Mason Alexander Crenshaw. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, I'll run through the database right now and we'll call you back. Alright, bye. Can I play? Well, that actually takes a lot of practice. But I can teach you a couple things. Can you? Sure. Here. Let me scoot over. You hold it there. Let me see. Take this finger. Oops. Put it right there. Press down hard. Watch this. <laughs> okay, let me see your other finger. And take this finger. Press it down real hard. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> you learned two chords already. She's a natural. <laughs> you let my mom, don't you? Well, I think she's very special. Why? Because she likes you. Elizabeth! <laughs> and how do you know that? Magic. You know, we better start playing that board game soon or else it'll get too late and you'll have to go straight to bed. <laughs> hey, I'm home. Mary! Yeah. Oh, hey, James. Thought you were going to fax the results over. I wanted to show you this. Son of a bitch. How'd you say you were mixed up with these guys? Hey, uh... They've been hanging around Catherine a lot recently. Catherine. You still hung up on that broad? Yeah. And this is my chance to get her back. The bitch left you. What do you care? You better off we're at her. That was Mary in her fucking head all the time, all right? Look. I fucked up, man. I just had surgery. My career was over. I got is drunk. And I hit her. Once. She was gone. She never gave me a chance to make that right. You expect this to bring him back? I don't know. Mike. What are you gonna do, man? Win. Brother, you all right? You okay? No, I'm not. You need anything? Maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. Ha! Collect two hundred dollars. I think that she's rigged the dice. You want me to get it? Uh, no, I got it taken care of. I'll handle it. You shouldn't be here. We're not together anymore, and if you come near Mary again, so help me God, the only place you will ever see your daughter again is in photo albums. Hi, honey. How's Elizabeth doing? You've been drinking again. And anyway, you don't have her till Friday. 
Look, first off, I completely lost my head. I took it out on Mary, and I was wrong. You both have every right to be pissed, and I'm sorry, I really am. But there are bigger things going on right now. What the hell are you talking about, Michael? I just had James fax me over some stuff. You were putting Elizabeth in danger by having these guys here, and I don't want any of you to get hurt. It's all there. Now, I may overreact sometimes, but I don't want a guy like that near our daughter. She doesn't want you around here anymore. I don't want to cause a scene in front of Elizabeth. So I'm going to go out to my car, and I'm going to wait. But if that son of a bitch is not out of this apartment and away from her in five minutes, then I'm coming back. Catherine, you don't want that. You got five minutes. What is that? Catherine. Elizabeth, go to your room. Now! Grand theft auto? Armed robbery? Drug dealing? I used to be a bad person. There are a lot of things that I am not proud of. But that is not who I am now. This says you were shot. We were pulling armed robberies at the time. The guy we tried to rob had a gun. He shot me th three times in the chest at point blank range. So you've killed people? Yes. Get out. Get out of my house now. What about Elizabeth? I don't know. Hey. You come near my family again, I kill you. No, you won't. You sure about that? How's the hip? What did you say to me? Damn it. There he is, the Miracle Man. So how'd they find out about us, Chris? Who? Catherine. Who? Catherine, Elizabeth's mother. Elizabeth, sweet kid. It's really funny, you know? <laughs> Her ex pulled our jackets. He magically has everything. And I wonder why that is. They're just words. Words can't hurt you. Dates, times, you'll be all right. Chris, you had no right to tell them about us. I didn't say shit. Don't give me that fucking bullshit. 
Are we leaving? I am. What are you so pissed off about? Come on, Alex. Why don't you hook it up one more time? Me and you. We're done, buddy. You too high and mighty to help me out? That little girl's as good as dead. She's gonna die like your dad did. Don't you ever mention him! I'm sorry. Hey, come on, Alex. Alex! Hey! I'm sorry. When her tiny hand was first placed in mine, I took a vow to always protect and cherish those innocent hands. For when I gazed upon her face, I truly knew love. But now my daughter falls away, my faith is shaken. But hope that bridge emerged from the shadows in the form of a man today. Hey, bro, you got any change? Sorry, man, not tonight. Look, man, I wasn't asking you. I'm freaking telling you. Hey, 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 relax, relax, okay? Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, hey, 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 take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy, buddy, there you go, there you go. His hands were stronger and they seemed to heal, but my hope has failed. He was nothing more than fear in Faith's clothing, and yet I want to believe in him. Would you save me? You got something to say? you'd be gone by now. Well, there's a train heading out tonight. I'll be on it. I was just, uh, just wondering how Elizabeth's doing. She's fine. She's full of energy. <laughs> That's great. It's really good to hear that. I had this strange dream and I don't know, I just want to check and make sure she's okay. Was she okay? Keep an eye on her. I gotta get going. I was just coming by to check, Let's see. Catherine. I'm really sorry how everything came out. I was never trying no, to be dishonest you, with you and no, you. No, you don't owe us anything. How did you survive? The gunshot wounds. I didn't. By the time I got me to the hospital, I was dead. Stayed that way for 22 minutes, and then somehow, when I came out of my coma, I could do all of this. I was different, though. The anger was gone. 
When my father died, he didn't believe I'd change. I needed him to live. And ever since that day, I've been trying to make amends for what I was. I'm sorry, Kathy. I'm sorry. Rook. You got any time before that train leaves? Hey, Mary. How you been? What are you doing here? Well, I came to check on Elizabeth and see how Catherine's doing. I mean, you guys, you had a rough night? Your weather not here. Uh, where can I uh, find him? You don't have Elizabeth until tomorrow. You keep coming here like this, and your ass goes to jail. Do you understand? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Get away from me! You're not a part of this fucking family. You're just a goddamn leech. Michael, stop it! Hey, he started this, didn't he? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Michael! Looking for Alex. What the hell are you doing? Self-defense. I thought my life was in danger. gentle and something about that spoke to me but then there was this man that was in these mug shots that committed all of these crimes it's that like I don't know you dead. that man is dead Catherine that man is dead he died of a gunshot wound to his chest At, every day I have nightmares about who I was and who I've hurt and it's like you said, yes, I've been running from it. But that's not who I am now. You know who I am now. I'm the same person who cares about you and Elizabeth very, very much. This is my new chance at life. I care about you so much. Elizabeth cares about you so much. You call the cops, I'm a dead man! I'm not calling the police! God damn it. Hello? What? No, 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 he's here with me right now. He's going in shock. Oh, thank God. How did this happen? I didn't shoot him, it was an accident. The gun just went off. This guy's an ex-cop. We're all fucked if he dies. Give it to me. What? Don't play stupid with me, Chris. You know what I'm talking about. Alex, if this guy dies, I'm getting sent back. Now! Give me the fucking shit! Flush it. This is the last goddamn fucking favor between me and you, so help me God. From now on, you sink or you swim on your own. You live, you fucking die, I don't give a fuck. Do you understand me? Fine. Back up. Look at me. If you can hear me, this is gonna hurt. But after I'm done, you'll be healed. You understand that? And that means you ain't got shit on anybody in this room. Hey. Do you understand me? <coughs> yeah. God damn it. Get 
get some ice. Oh. Is he gonna be okay? Mm. It'll be a few hours for everything to be okay. Mm. Let's just keep him comfortable. Mm. Oh. 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 God. How did he do that? Oh. 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 How the fuck did he do that? Yeah, put, put some pressure on this. Oh. It doesn't matter. Oh. What does matter is this. What he giveth, he can taketh away. And if you don't leave these people alone, he taketh away. He can do that. It's true. What about Elizabeth? I want to see her. Go then. Are you okay? I didn't know Rook could reverse the procedure. Yeah, me neither. Oh! Rook, can you hear me? <sighs> Can I do anything for you? What can you read to me? Read to you? Yes! Oh! Read me one of your stories. Right. Mm. Daddy? Hey, baby. What are you doing here? Give me a hug. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I just missed you, that's all. It's been a long day and I really wanted to see you. Do you want to come play? I'd love to. <laughs> but I can't. Your mom will be here soon to pick you up anyway. You can stay until she gets here. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. I just wanted to tell you that all I ever wanted to do was protect you. All I wanted was for you to be safe, for us to be a family again. Okay. I just, uh, I got shot, baby. Some things happened, and I just really needed to see you and know that you were okay. I'm okay, Addy. Good. Take care of your mom, too, okay? I love you. I'll see you later. The curse of the Blood Red Seas had just been lifted, and the citizens of the Dark Woods had needed a source of hope in a time of despair. Baresh had filled that void and then spread his influence to the other five parts of the forest until he had claimed the position of High Chief. I have to get Elizabeth. Okay, babe. I got it. Thanks. Uh, I have to go get Elizabeth. Uh, are you okay? Fine. Is there anything I can get? Methadone. I'm just joking. Go ahead, we'll see you later. to get up, son. What happened to me? Always trying to do too much. Did you have a good time at camp? We finally finished our fort today. Oh, well that must have been fun. What's wrong, baby? You tired? 
A little. Did you not sleep okay last night? Well, I had a weird dream. Yeah? What'd you dream? I dreamed I was in a garden with this old man, and I was scared, and I was sick. You're going to have to make a decision. What are you talking about? A trade. What trade? Mom, I don't feel so good. Elizabeth. Okay, I'll be right there. It's Elizabeth. She's in trouble. Not in his condition. It'll kill him. <coughs> Take me there. So sorry. What happened? I... Tell me what happened. Elizabeth passed away. Where's Catherine? She's taking a private moment with her. You can as well if you like. <laughs> you did all you could do. More than anyone could ask. Wait. Not if you help me. I couldn't save you. Let me save her. Do you know what you're asking? Yes. I don't think you do. The gift, the burden you carry, won't be yours anymore. Whatever the trade is, I'm prepared to make it. It's okay, sweetheart. You're in good hands. Good luck, son. He doesn't have a pulse. Move. Let me check.
The wizard was gone. He'd vanquished into the land between living and dying, and Queen Herod was too late to say goodbye. But in the wake of his passing was a gift. The citizens had been saved from their suffering and now had rule over themselves. How you doing? Good. Hard to say goodbye. You sure you want to? Yeah. It's about that time. Where the hell is he? Sorry I'm late. Sorry we're late, guys. Class ran late. Rick taught us how to play row the boat. And she was the best at it. <laughs> yeah. Bad day? Well, better than some. The wizard would eventually return from his trials, but as a mortal man, since the magic had been passed on to another. Why don't you let me fix it for you? <laughs> Not until you're older, sweetie. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to let nature take its course on this one, huh? <laughs> I can wait to... Sure you want to do this? Yeah. This is your home now? I got to find my own. Love you, man. Love you, man. Yeah. And for all of them, for the first time in a long time, there was a reason to go on. For the first time in a long time, there was hope. Why? 